Welcome back, time traveller. Select your name from this list. Hi, Alpha Omega. Is it all Greek to you? Never mind. All you need to do, my bold time traveller, is go back in history and find the pieces of time trail that will lead you to the professor. I deduce that he needs your assistance. I've got to get back to my debate with Socrates. Don't leave the professor waiting too long. Hey, we're back to 400 BC, and yes, folks, it's ancient Greece, the birthplace of democracy. Whoever that is, let's go! Macedonia. Macedonia was a small kingdom in northern Greece. The famous general Alexander the Great was born in Macedonia. Greek soldiers. All three Greek men were trained for battle. The best armed soldiers, called hoplites, were fearsome warriors with long spears and short swords. Greek soldiers had to buy their own armour, weapons and shield. The most heavily armed soldiers in Greece were called hoplites, legionaries. <laughs> Mount Olympus. In Greek myth, Mount Olympus was the home of the gods. The ancient Greeks believed that the many thunderstorms over the mountain were the sign of Zeus, lord of the sky and king of the gods. Mount Olympus was thought to be the hill of the dead, the home of the gods. Gods and Goddesses. The Greeks believed their gods and goddesses were like normal human beings, but with magical powers. Each god was responsible for a different part of life. For example, there was a goddess of love and a god of medicine. The ancient Greek goddess of war and wisdom was Aphrodite, Athena. Greek temple. To honour their gods, the Greeks built beautiful temples. People only went inside a temple to pray when they wanted to ask the gods for a special favour. Before going inside, they would first leave an offering outside the temple. In ancient Greece, people left offerings to the gods outside the temple, inside the temple. <laughs> family life. In a Greek family, the father made all the decisions. He could even decide whether to keep or abandon a newborn baby. Mothers and daughters took care of the house, spun wool and made clothes. These were considered very noble jobs. Games and pastimes. When they were not working, Greeks had many ways to enjoy themselves. A board game similar to draughts was a popular way to relax with friends. The Greeks also liked to exercise and go to the theatre. Mmm, nice work, detective. Only six more to go. Travel to Imperial China to find this piece of time trail. Games and pastimes. Ancient Greeks enjoy... Greek house. Most Greek houses were simple buildings made from mud bricks. 
Small windows were set high in the walls. In the centre of the house was a light and airy courtyard. There was an altar in the courtyard where the family could gather each day to pray. <coughs> Greek soldier. <laughs> children. Greek children enjoyed toys such as miniature ox carts and chariots, dolls and spinning tops. Some boys went to school, where they learned reading, writing, music and sport. Girls never went to school, but some were taught at home by their family. <coughs> the Oracle at Delphi an oracle was a holy place that people visited when they wanted the gods to answer a difficult question. The city of Delphi was home to the most famous oracle in ancient Greece. People believed that the god Apollo could speak to them through the priestesses at Delphi. <sighs> Slaves in ancient Greece, slaves did much of the hard work. Household slaves made food and looked after the children. Other slaves worked in mines or toiled on farms. Most slaves were born into slavery or were captured in battles. <coughs> food. Most Greeks ate simple, healthy foods. They made bread from wheat and ate it with goat's cheese and olives. Seafood such as fish and squid was also popular. Everyone drank wine mixed with water to make it less strong. <laughs> the Assembly. The free men of Athens regularly gathered together to discuss laws, elect leaders and judge criminals. They called these gatherings the Assembly. Their government was the first democracy, which means rule by the people. The laws of Athens were made by all free men, the emperor. <laughs> Athens. Athens was the largest and most powerful city-state in Greece. It was a magnificent city, full of beautiful buildings. The most important part of Athens was called the Acropolis. This was a sacred hill with many temples dedicated to Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. Market. Every town in ancient Greece had a busy market called the Agora, where people did their shopping. They bought food from farmers and fishermen, and cloth or pots from craftsmen. The Agora was a good place to meet with friends. Market. Every <laughs> Heroes and Monsters the Greeks loved stories about heroes battling against monsters. The most famous Greek hero was Heracles, or Hercules. In one story, he fights and kills the Hydra, a huge serpent with many heads that grow back as soon as they are cut off. An ancient Greek hero was Heracles, Simbad. Theatre. The ancient Greeks performed plays as part of their religious festivals. They were the first people to perform plays as entertainment. The plays took place outdoors in large round theatres. Actors wore masks and colourful robes. In ancient Greece, actors wore makeup, masks. The Olympic Games. 
The ancient Greeks took sport very seriously. They held athletic contests to honor their gods. The Olympic Games, held every four years, were the most important. Athletes from all over Greece came to compete in the Olympic Games. In ancient Greece, the Olympic Games were held every four years, every year. The Olympic Games Greek Olympic events Select your favourite sport from the ancient Greek Olympics by dragging it into the box. But be careful! Only five of the sports shown below were events in the Greek Olympics. Gymnastics This was not an event in the ancient Greek Olympics. Tennis This was not an event in the ancient Greek Olympics. Chariot racing Football This was not an event in the ancient Greek Olympics. Discus Boxing Running Wrestling Discus <gasps> Mourning the dead In ancient Greece, life could be very short. Many men were killed in wars, and women often died giving birth. The Greeks believed in life after death, but they still mourn their dead. At funerals they wore black robes, cut off their hair and wailed and cried. Coins The Greeks were some of the first people in the world to use money. They made coins from silver or gold. Each city made its own coins, stamped with a special symbol. Coins in Athens were stamped with an owl, the symbol of the goddess Athena. <laughs> Sparta. Sparta was a powerful city-state that fought many wars against Athens. The Spartans were a tough and warlike people. Their soldiers were greatly feared and thought to be unbeatable. Spartan boys trained as warriors from an early age, and girls had to be fit and strong as well. <laughs> Greek warship. When they fought their enemies at sea, the Greeks sailed mighty warships called triremes. In battle, they would row as fast as they could straight at the enemy and ram them with a large metal battering ram at the front of the ship. <laughs> Dressing up. Greek clothes were made from thin woolen cloth. Sometimes the cloth was dyed a bright colour or was patterned. Both men and women wore a loose tunic called a chiton. People washed every day and combed and oiled their hair. Hmm. Ah. Philosopher. Ancient Greece had many great thinkers called philosophers, or lovers of wisdom. Greek philosophers tried to find out how the world worked. The ideas they came up with still influence the way we think today, over 2,000 years later. A famous Greek philosopher was Alexander the Great, Socrates. My journey to the gods and legends.